and this is the season of the field of dreams. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't just walk people around the mountain, you took them up. You didn't just take them up, you took them up and over. You took them in. There's a season that I kept you a secret. There was a season that I allowed you to be seen and heard. Then there was another season of feeling again like you were in hiding. You weren't in a cave. You were at the mountaintop. The place of transfiguration. Transformation. The Lord said you're not just a man with your eyes fixed on him, but your heart fixed on him. Wow. I heard the Lord say, thank you for being willing to be misunderstood. Thank you for being willing to be misunderstood. Many people who walk with you began to turn against you. Yet you did not curse them. Yet you did not complain to me about them. You just loved them more. You're about to know the glory you're stepping in. Wow. Because you did not let emotion or offense remove you from the place of glory that I planted you in. I put a force field around you. I put a force field of protection around you. Some haven't been able to figure you out. And I kept it that way. Over the last 20 years, it was like you kept going to the church, but the church wasn't getting what you were saying. You felt rejected by your own, yet you did not let a spirit of rejection overtake you. Some thought you were mad at the church, but really you were mad for the church. Because they rejected the very miracle they were supposed to receive. Sound familiar? saw him, but they did not receive him. The ones the builders rejected, but called by God and chosen. You know how to swim in the river, but you're not a river man. You're a mountain man. <laughs> will ascend the hill of the Lord? Amen. Who will ascend the mountain of God? Those with pure hearts and clean hands. Son, there was a season where you were just a little bit ahead of your time. Yes. Some of the same places that didn't receive you five years ago and ten years ago are ready for you now. tamed you, but I didn't tame you. He just grew more and more into it. There was a season you spoke like a revivalist. Like you spoke like a prophet. You spoke like an apostolic leader or an apostle. Now when people hear you speak, they say, there's a father. Yes. There's a father. There's a father. There were greats around you that knew how to mentor you, that 
could speak things into your life that they fully didn't know how to father you. Mm. And you're about to father those that are just like you. Wow. The Lord said that I moved you from one region to another. <laughs> You'd prefer the south. <laughs> but I brought you to the north. Wow. Because the north needed a father of fire. Come on, come on, come on. Lord, I thank you that there's gold and that there are hills. Amen. Yeah, on. <laughs> yes, Lord. There's fire on the mountain. Yes. Because the on. altar of worship is always occupied. <laughs> 24-7, but not like everybody else does 24-7. Yes. Lord, right now, where we've just exchanged a couple of messages, it's the first time meeting you face-to-face today. Lord, I release blessing over this man of God today. Lord, I thank you that he's going to find greater covenant relationships Thank you, Connecticut, Jesus. New England, that he's ever had or known before. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you that, Lord, you're about to send uh, the Lone Ranger Tom Toes. Thank you, Jesus. You're about to send, Lord, you're about to send this Father of Fire, sons of thunder, daughters of lightning. Come on. I just felt like the Lord said that this is going to be a season of seismic proportion. And I just kept hearing the sound of, of the earth opening. And I felt like the Lord said, He's anointed you to create an epicenter of spiritual activity. Come on, Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now for the things that are about to be written, the things that are about to be spoken, and the things that are about to be sung. Your children are like an angelic choir. <laughs> that one daughter is carrying yes. worship and word and flow while some are looking for the force of the Spirit. Yes. the flow of the Spirit. Yes. And that one's about to actually redefine nations. She's going to go and sing over nations. Yes. She's about to go and sing over nations. She's about to go and sing over nations. Lord, I thank you for your friend. That's what I heard the Lord say. Tell my friend, the father of fire, well done. But he's not seen anything yet. Amen. 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 Amen